imagine standing on a crowded street, feeling invisible, just another face in the whirlwind of modern life. You try to keep up with a thousand things, but in the end you actually feel more disconnected and misunderstood. The people rushing past you, they've all been in the same space. We're all humans. We're all social pe creatures craving love, understanding, and connection. However, ironically, in this age of hyperconnectivity, many of us feel more alone and more lonely than we've done in generations. So, my name is Alexandra Berger, and I'm here today to talk about how artificial intelligence, specifically metahumans, can help us bridge the gap between our human limitations and our desire for deeper, more meaningful connection. You see, there's one emotion that drives all of us. It hovers over us like a shadow. Fear. Fear of failure. Fear of rejection. And most of all, fear of being judged. It's that one constant nagging feeling that we might disappoint. We might fail, or worst of all, that we just simply aren't enough. But we try as human beings, we stumble, we push, but let's just face it, in the end we're all just human beings trying our very best. So what if there was a way to rewrite that story? Introducing metahumans. Metahumans reimagine technology, not just as a tool, but as a companion. Not just something to help us do more every day, but something to help us be more. Metahumans have the power to transform how we connect, learn, and evolve. They're not just another, yet another technological innovation. They are us, but without our limitations. Difficult to imagine, but it's coming. So they can offer emotional support and care on a level that we once thought was impossible. They can adapt to our needs, learn our many quirks, and help us navigate the complexities of life. Imagine the perfect friend, one who never lets you down, never disappoints you, who's always there for you. The person who can learn and has, is apps actually capable of learning everything about you, not to judge you, but to uplift you. So metahumans have the ability to overcome obstacles that we once thought were insurmountable. They actually redefine being human in a way that strengthens our inherent capabilities rather than diminishing them by preserving knowledge, skills, and personal memories, they enable us to transfer our legacies, our values, and even my mom's secret recipes to future generations. But this isn't about legacy. This is something even more human. It's about companionship. This metahuman can be your perfect friend who never judges and is always there for you. Um, one other thing is very key to mention is that they allow one to create a safe space to process emotions, to learn, and to evolve. So, let's be real. Modern life is chaotic. We are pulled in a million directions. We're juggling friends, family, foes, work. There just never seems like there's enough hours in the day. How? How could we reclaim some of this mental energy? Metahumans can help us actually do just that, reclaim some mental space. By managing mundane, boring, repetitive tasks, they allow us to focus on what truly matters, creative and strategic thinking. They don't just boost productivity, they give us back the energy we need to be our best selves. Imagine finishing the day feeling energized and not exhausted. Difficult for me too. Anyway, we're getting there. Um, now, in a more serious note, metahumans are a force for industry-wide transformation. They have the power to revolutionize fields, 
such as finance, healthcare, the arts, engineering, you, you name it. Um, and they do this by merging creativity with artificial intelligence. So this is not another one of those horrible stories about machines replacing people. This is about enhancing human potential. So, for example, let's consider the arts. AI metahumans could spark new um, forms of artistic expression by combining on the one side the creative elements and also the massive data that they keep. Um, in workplace, uh, metahumans can assist teams to collaborate seamlessly and enable to, uh, businesses to offer personalized solutions with unprecedented efficiency. So, the future that we are stepping into is a future where AI and humanity will dance together. It's a world where metahumans will be here to overcome our fears, amplify our strengths, and unlock new heights of potential. They are a key to a new connection, one that could help us feel understood, empowered, and most importantly, human. Let's explore the frontier of digital innovation together. Let's embrace the potential of metahumans to help us not only survive, but thrive in a world where our, the possibilities are as vast as our imaginations. So I'm going to introduce my metahuman. Actually, I'm not sure if you can see me. Am I in the way? So. This is a companion bot. She's there to assist you with day-to-day -day tasks. Hello. That sounds great. A companion. What's your name? Hello, how can I assist you today? Can you tell me your name? My name is Alexandra Berger. I'm your... Sure, what would you like me to do? Just let me know your request or question, and I'll do my best to assist you. Thank you. Can you tell us a joke? Of course, here's a joke for you. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Hope that brings a smile to your face. Would you like to hear another one? Yes, I think we want to hear another joke, please. Can you sure, tell here's us another, another one joke? For you. Why don't skeletons... It looks like your message got cut off. Could you please finish your thought? I'm Can... here to help. Can you tell us another joke, please? It seems like there might be a bit of confusion with your request. If you meant to ask for a specific number or a joke related to a number, please clarify and I'll be happy to help. If you meant something else, just let me know. Okay, tell me, what is my favorite animal? Based on our earlier conversation, your favorite animal is an elephant. If that has changed or if you have another favorite, feel free to let me know. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, it is currently the pygmy hippo, but it was the elephant yesterday. Um, one more question. What is my favorite music genre? You mentioned that you love a variety of music genres from jazz to classical and rock. It sounds like you appreciate a wide range of musical styles. If there's a specific genre you're leaning towards today, feel free to share. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. You're welcome.